Hello, from the American National Standards Institute, and welcome to this video about safety shower and eye wash requirements. In this video, we will first discuss what kind of workplaces use safety showers and eye washes. Next, we will dive deeper into OSHA's requirements and ANSI ISEA Z358.1 requirements. Lastly, we will compare the similarities and differences between these two standards. Emergency eye wash and shower equipment is designed to provide emergency flushing of the eyes, face or body of a person exposed to hazardous materials. As such, eye and face wash stations and safety showers are a necessity for workplace safety and facilities that handle, process, or store hazardous materials. Specifically, workplaces such as laboratories and manufacturing plants, as well as industries that deal with refrigerants, battery acids, forklifts and industrial trucks, and aerial lifts likely require the presence of an eye wash station or emergency shower. To assure compliance, these workplaces need to adhere to the regulatory requirements of the Occupational Health and Safety Administration, also known as OSHA. In order to maximize emergency shower safety and help prevent the risk of eye injury on the job, OSHA requires employers to provide readily accessible emergency eye wash stations to employees working in certain industries or facilities. Where the eyes or body of any person may be exposed to injurious corrosive materials, suitable facilities for quick, drenching or flushing of the eyes and body shall be provided within the work area for immediate emergency use. Essentially, the OSHA 1910-151 C. General Industry Requirements requires eye wash and shower safety equipment for emergency use where the eyes or body of any employee could be exposed to injurious corrosive materials. For the construction industry, OSHA Standard 1926-50 G stipulates the same requirement. The inclusion of these OSHA standards across different industry sectors highlights the universal need for safety measures to protect workers from potential chemical injuries. As the most comprehensive guide to emergency showers and eye washes, NCISEA Z358.1 was developed by the International Safety Equipment Association, ISEA. NCISEA Z358.1 establishes minimum performance, use, installation, test procedures, and maintenance and training guidelines for eye wash and shower equipment for the emergency treatment of the eyes, face, and body of a person who has been exposed to hazardous materials and chemicals. Equipment covered by the standard is found in manufacturing and processing facilities, construction sites, laboratories, medical and healthcare offices, refineries, and other workplaces. The American National Standard assists users in understanding the provisions of the OSHA standard. For example, NCISEA Z358.1 explains in more detail the key terms suitable and immediate in OSHA 29 CFR 1910-151 C that are of significance when procuring, planning, and maintaining emergency equipment. Besides the scope, purpose, and definitions, NCISEA Z538.1 contains five other sections. 1. Emergency showers. 2. Eye wash equipment. 3. Eye and face wash equipment. 4 combination units, and five, personal wash units and drench hoses, which are considered supplemental to emergency eye wash and shower equipment. Each of these five sections addresses performance of the given equipment, performance of the control valve, testing procedures for certifications, installation, maintenance, and training. Illustrations and appendices are also provided throughout the standard for further clarification. Considerations to note about the performance of the control valve include that the valve should be simple to operate, go from off to on in one second or less, and be resistant to corrosion. The American National Standard also covers eye wash regulations, including eye wash station manufacturer instructions on how often and how long to activate specific plumbed systems to reduce microbial contamination. An important consideration in the standard is assuring a consistent flow of tepid flushing fluid at a minimum 15-minute irrigation period that is in the temperature range of 16 to 38 degrees Celsius, that is 60 to 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Another key consideration in ANSI ISEA Z358.1 
is that emergency eye wash and shower equipment should be available for immediate use, but in no instance should it take an individual longer than 10 seconds to reach the nearest facility. Since ANC ISEA Z358.1 equipment includes emergency drenched showers, eye wash units that may be permanently attached to the plumbing system, or freestanding tank systems, eye and face washes, drench hoses, fixed and portable decontamination showers, mixing valves, and personal eye wash bottles, the standard is largely adopted by plumbing organizations. As such, ANC ISEA Z358.1 has been adopted by the Uniform Plumbing Code UPC, and the International Plumbing Code IPC, and by many governmental health and safety organizations within and outside the U.S. The standard is also part of the building code in locations that have adopted the IPC. It is important to note that voluntary consensus standards become mandatory OSHA standards only when, and if, they are adopted by OSHA. NCISEA Z358.1 has not been adopted by OSHA. So, what is the main difference between the OSHA standard and the American National Standard for Safety Shower and Eye Washes? OSHA 29 CFR 1910-151 C is the only federal requirement for emergency eye wash and shower equipment. Wow! NCISEA Z358.1 serves as a recognized source of guidance for protecting employees who are exposed to injurious corrosive materials, and its use is completely voluntary. Eighty-eight percent of safety showers and eye wash stations, however, are found to be non-compliant to NCISEA Z358.1 due to performance-related issues, including inadequate flow rates, temperatures, and water pressure levels. This makes it difficult to provide proper first aid in an emergency and limit the effects of chemicals on the skin. Additionally, another 10% of units are not compliant due to secondary factors, including providing improper signage, blocked entranceways, and poor lighting. Non-compliance to the standard is very much preventable and soluble. The first step in assuring your workplace's compliance to the standard is downloading NCISEA Z358.1 from the ANSI web store. The standard is available as a PDF by itself, as well as in the workplace first aid kits, an eye wash package, an eye wash and eye protection package, as well as in standard subscriptions.